Hi, this is Ron Ovid, Mr. Change Agent, and I'm so glad that you could be with us today. You know, Empower for Living is an exciting program, and we have uh, four different divisions. Uh, the first one is to change your habits. It's, uh, you know, habits are difficult to change, but we can change them, and so it's change your habits. The second part, though, is that we want to crush your cravings. Um, now, that's an important part of this program here. Let me explain it this way, and you may have seen it in our other videos, but it bears repeating. You can go from on a continuum of a habit, and, and let's call this an urge, okay? And so as your urge increases from a habit, it becomes more of a craving, right? An addiction, a craving. And a craving isn't so much... Oh boy, uh, thank you for what I got. <laughs> the craving is really that I have to have it. There's a big difference. I need it. I have to have it. I have to have it. I have to have it. And then once you have it, it's over until all of a sudden you need it again. And that craving is, is more indicative of an addiction, isn't it? And so we work in both. And so in Power for Living, we help change habits, you know, uh, habits that might not take so much time, like chewing your nails, right? Uh, be a procrastination, uh, things like that. And then we work in strong addictions, OCD behavior, other things that just seem to be more chronic, if you will, harder to get rid of, takes more time. Because this is the other part of that, right? That the farther you go on this continuum, the higher you go here. And what is this? Well, this is time, knowledge, you know, uh, different kinds of skills, experience, you know, all these things, it, it takes time. Uh, and our program is pretty comprehensive. And so we have uh, different kinds of programs. We go from uh, stuff that you can get free on our website, empowerforliving.com, uh, all the way up to uh, our webinars. And today I'm going to talk to you about one of our courses. Uh, we have anything from eight to 12 week courses. And then we have the one year program that's really, really exciting that I really think you ought to look into. And you can find that on our web. And so what we have here is change your habits, crush your cravings, and then we get into to these things too. We get into increasing your emotional maturity. Now, yes, we're older, <laughs> and we should be mature, right? Uh, but it isn't always the case. You know, you could be very mature when it comes to handling anger and yet be very immature when it comes to handling sadness, for example. And so we have a wide range of emotions and maturity, uh, how we handle those emotions really have a lot to do with our childhood, uh, with the trauma that we've experienced. We are a trauma-based program. We deal with childhood trauma, with childhood experiences. And trauma doesn't always have to be uh, the worst thing that could happen in the world. Sometimes it's things that should have happened that didn't happen. And, and that can set us off because we're children. And as children, we don't think rationally. Do you know that the prefrontal cortex, that rational part of your brain, doesn't even come online till you're around 12 years old? Now, a child, he can do math. They can be, oh, look how smart they are. But that doesn't mean they're rational. <laughs> you know, watch them fight, right? Have you ever seen two adults fight? I mean, they're like children, right? And so we have these areas of emotional immaturity. And so we want to increase our maturity. And that's why our program lends itself a lot to people that maybe, like I did, I, I was full of anxiety, right, phobias. And we have a lot of people with depression and OCD behavior, others that uh, come to the programs because it fits for them. And frankly, when I started working in addictions years ago, it didn't take but a couple weeks to realize, hey, this, this is about anxiety. This is about depression. This is about emotional issues. We medicate to regulate our emotions. And so that's uh, one of them. And then the one that's missing in some programs, although it's, and it's lighter in others, but one that I think is important, and that's what we're going to talk about today, is to deepen our spirituality. Now, if you read about me on the, our website or even on our YouTube page here, you would know that I've been in the ministry for 45 years. 
And so uh, when I talk about spirituality, I'm really talking about the Judeo-Christian spirituality. So many people get confused. Uh, they think that Christianity is a religion, and I can understand that because we've turned it into one, haven't we? But the real truth when Jesus came is that he came that we could have life, he said, and have an abundant life, have a relationship, a relationship with God. And that's true spirituality. And so we have a course. Uh, we have a course that we offer. It's a 12-week course, and it's one that I've put a lot of time into creating uh, that will really give you a, a sense of how can we experience this Christian spirituality? How can we experience a real in-depth uh, relationship with God? And I call it Jesus is the real change agent. Now, you notice that I call myself Ron Ovett, Mr. Change Agent. That started back in uh, uh, the late uh, 90s, I think it was, when... Uh, all of a sudden there was a business magazine that came out, Fast Company. And in their second issue, I was so excited about this magazine. It was so cutting edge. They talked, they did an article on this guy, and he, they called him a change agent. And I read the article, and I said, oh, my goodness, that sounds like me. Every, you know, I thought, no wonder I'm getting so much trouble, because I was always about change. I was always about change. I was an agent for change, and I've spent my life studying change, the aha moments. And I've spent all my, uh, you know, studying school, studying the psychology of change. And, and so being a change agent has been a very important part of my life. But the truth is, I would have never made it. I would have never made it through all those years of anxiety and depression and, and phobias and that if I hadn't known Jesus, uh, that personal relationship. And so we have a program here, and I start right off in the book uh, talking about, is, is your God big enough? <laughs> you know, is your God big enough? I know it's popular in the 12-step programs out there to have a God of your choice, and, and I don't deny you that. It has to be your choice. But let me ask you, is the God that you choose really big enough? Or is he the God that has cho chosen you? And we find in Christianity, we're talking about a God that chooses you. And so uh, another part of the book is becoming right with God. And then how to have this personal relationship with him. And we, we discuss who is God. We go over some of the characteristics of God. And then we talk about the Holy Spirit, uh, God's Holy Spirit, the Holy God Spirit is how I like to say it, that, that indwells us. What's that all about? If we're spiritual beings, then doesn't it make sense that that part of us that's spiritual would link up with God's Spirit? And then really, who is Jesus Christ and what can he do for us? Why did God become in the form of man? And we get into that. And then we talk about the transforming power. How do we get transformed. You know, it says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You know, God knew all about the way he created us and how our mind works. And, and I think you'll be amazed and, as you go through this course of how he can really transform us. And then we're going to talk about Jesus and our trauma. Trauma is real and it, it leaves uh, scars, it leaves uh, wounds. And how does Jesus do that? And, and if we call God our Father, what about the reparenting experience? Is it possible that we can be reparented? That we can actually get this maturity all over again? You know, Jesus used a term called born again. And I, after I started studying developmental psychology and that, all of a sudden I thought, wow, wow. Born again gives us that chance to be refathered, reparented, refamilied, if you will, and have the right kind of maturity. Get those core yearnings that we were supposed to have in the first place put in place in us. That's where spiritual uh, maturity and emotional maturity come from. And we're going to talk about dealing with our own childhood, dealing with shame and guilt, rewiring our brain. How does that brain work? How do we rewire it? And then how do we keep strong in this kind of spiritual relationship? And so that's uh, uh, that program. It's a 12-week program. I encourage you to look online. We have a lot of supplementary materials. We have the blog. Our blogs are divided into those four sections that I told you about, uh, videos, webinars. You can go to our website, empowerforliving.com, and you'll find everything you need. 
So till next time, this is Ron Ovid, Mr. Change Agent, saying see you later.